boom, we are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is, of course, your boy, Nolan Hawkeye Anthony here. And thank you for visiting this YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, wherever you may be. And of course, however you may be listening. Good news for you guys today. Uh, this all happened very quickly. As is the case with recruiting, it, it really is, um, you know, there are recruits that you pay attention to uh, regarding your favorite team and and where they're at uh, with regards to that recruitment with the, with a player and, and, you know, who the other player is vid visiting and things like that. And you can go for months without hearing anything. And that recruit may ultimately end up deciding to go elsewhere. And then you get circumstances, especially like this with the Iowa Hawkeyes, where it's kind of just right time, right person, right team, and you get a commitment. And like I said, you know, it kind of comes out of nowhere. Nonetheless, it is great news for the Iowa Hawkeyes. They received a commitment from Kanan Leonard. Uh, an offensive lineman out of the state of Illinois. The state of Illinois, of course, has been good to the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, very, very good. Very good. Uh, and we will look into that. But before we get into any of that, I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out. Uh, we are so freaking close to 1,000 subs. I can't wait until we finally get there together. Uh, so please consider hitting that subscribe button, support your boy, because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share. You know the drill. Uh, you guys can find uh, all my podcasts on Anchor. That's probably the best place to listen to and Apple Podcasts. Uh, and if you want to support your boy's coffee habit, I will put the Cash app and PayPal app or PayPal link in the description. And without further ado, let's get in to this. So here he is, folks, uh, the six foot nine monster. Here he is. And again, you know, Iowa, their recruiting strategy is interesting, in my opinion. They Go hard after in-state prospects, regardless of how highly ranked they are, like Xavier Wanpa, Caden Proctor, because they always have a chance with that guy. And I would say they go pretty hard after uh, any guy who is, you know, capable of playing at the Big Ten level uh, within the Midwest. Uh, once you start going, going further and further out of the Midwest, they start being more meticulous with who they offer. However, Iowa still uh, does look and search for the diamonds in the rough, the hidden gems, if you will, because ultimately they know that they will not win every battle for every top notch guy for every top ranked guy. And I think that that's smart of them. I mean, it is uh, because that that's how a program like Iowa stays atop of uh, the food chain, for lack of a better term, like they have. OK, uh, number one, they find the hidden gems. They find the diamonds in the rough and they develop well. And they and within the developing well, they use their strength and conditioning. Uh, and those are the main factors that allow a school like Iowa to stay competitive with schools like Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State, who, number one, have better uh, have better in-state talent in the state that they have a school uh, and number two. Uh, just have a bigger brand name. Now, I will say Iowa's brand name has gotten better and better over the years. And number two, the in-state recruiting in the state of Iowa has gotten considerably better. And when I say considerably, I really do mean that. But nonetheless, you know, 
Iowa will never come, you know, be Ohio or Michigan or e- even Illinois. Um, you know, so they have to do what, what they can in the state of Iowa. So, you know, that is Iowa's, uh, you know, creme de la creme with recruiting. And this guy definitely falls in the hidden gem. Uh, he is six, nine guy, six foot nine. I can't remember the last time Iowa has recru- ha- so- had committed a six foot nine guy. The, the tallest guy that Iowa has gotten uh, in recent years would be current starting tackle Jack Plum out of the state of Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Uh, and he's six foot eight. This guy is six foot nine. Let's read this. Once class of 2023 offensive line in Lyman, uh, Kanan Leonard, it's either Kanan or Cannon. Uh, Leonard received a scholarship offer from Iowa. He wasted no time in making a decision. Just one day later, the six foot nine, 265 pound Illinois native announced his verbal commitment to the Hawkeyes, a three star prospect. Leonard chose Iowa over scholarship offers from Army, Northern Illinois, Eastern Midge, Ball State, Florida Atlantic, Fort Ham, Northern Iowa, Southern Illinois, Long Island, Illinois State, Eastern Illinois. You guys get the drift there. Uh, so, you know, he was being looked at from a lot of the smaller schools. Um, you know, that's usually the case for Iowa is they fought these hidden gems are you know, being recruited by the max schools. And then all of a sudden Iowa gets access to them and they're the first or the second offer for one of these guys. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Um, There is his uh, uh, committed thing right there. Um, By the way, open invitation you know, this is, Uh, I'm going to be doing this moving forward. Uh, You know, every recruit that I do a video for, if you want to hop on the channel and have immediate access to Iowa Hawkeye fans, trust me, this is the channel to do it. Um, And, uh, you know, especially with NIL and things like that. I'll tell you what, guys, if I was a recruit, I would immediately find a YouTube channel or something to uh, gain exposure and things like that. But that's just my two cents there. Um, there is his thing right there. So open invitation, you, you can find the, uh, how to contact me, um, in my, uh, link in the bot in, in the description or excuse me in the description, man, six foot nine. That's crazy guys. I, I do wonder if he's going to continue to grow because I, I would say that the max height, you know, Kirk Ferentz always says you're either too tall or you're not, you're either tall enough or you're not. You know, the, the, this it's, it's, it's cut and dry. It's black and white. Um, and I would say that I agree with that. Uh, I don't know precisely what would become too tall. I would say that it's all relative, but I would say six ten, six eleven would be pushing too tall. I mean, let's be honest, folks. I mean, offensive tackles, the tallest that you will see them is six foot eight, six, nine. I mean, that's the tallest. Um, So I think that Iowa should monitor his height. Now, of course, you know, if they monitor his height and, you know, they think he can still play, then it's all good. Um, And obviously Iowa liked what this kid was capable of. Um, he has a grade of a 5.6. Listen, guys, I'm just saying it's something to monitor. I, I don't know how many offensive tackles or heck, even football players in general that are 6'10, 6'11 that I see. Okay. Um, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, 6'9 is good. I'm okay with 6'9, 6'10, 6'11, I think might be uh, pushing it uh, into the range of too tall. Uh, he has a grade of a 5.6 by rivals. Um, and here is his offer sheet. Uh, again, um, his grade currently by 247 Sports is a 79, a two star. But of course, uh, that will uh, go up um, once he is evaluated. 
Uh, not a ton of film on him. I do want to watch some of his film myself real quick. Let me see what I can find with uh, Kanan here. This is his 247 sports profile. Um, he does not have uh, the commitment, but as you guys can see here, a grade of a 77. So again, he is only a two-star. Like I said, I do expect uh, that to go higher. So I will say with, you know, regardless of what I said about his height with the six foot nine, six foot 10 stuff. And again, just to make it clear, currently as it stands, he's probably six, eight, six, nine, maybe even, you know, six, seven without shoes. Now on the flip side, he might be actually six foot 10. I don't know, but I would guess he's somewhere in the range of six, eight, six, nine. Okay. And I, I'm okay with that. Um, as it stands. Uh, one thing I do like from what I have seen with, with Kanan is he plays multiple sports. And I have said on multiple occasions that if your kids play uh, sports, to have them play multiple sports, not just one. Uh, and I like that with Kanan big time. Um, so that is good news. It shows that he's an athlete. Uh, he hoops. Uh, according to his coach, he is a top geez. Is it, was that him as a tight end? The sky is the limit. According to the coach with regard to, uh, Kanan, uh, and he is a top 75 basketball player in the state of Illinois, according to the coach. Geez. If you're ever curious what a division one athlete looks like folks, this is, I mean, he is so much bigger uh, than everybody here. He is just mauling people. Whoo. Jeez. I was hoping we'd get one more tight end. Jeez. He is just smacking everybody up. Holy smokes. He's just so much bigger than all the kids. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Uh, we, you know, we saw a little bit of the hi highlights there. Listen, folks, at the end of the day, I trust the Iowa. I think this is a great get. I think that this kid might end up blowing up. Um, you know, had Iowa not snagged him right now, I think, you know, he, he could have blown up uh, as a recruit. Very happy they secured this commitment. It's always good for Iowa to go into the state of Illinois. And, and, you know, I would say Illinois is the second most prominent state that Iowa recruits in behind the state of Iowa. So that's always big. Uh, and uh, this 2023 class is really coming together. Iowa is currently top 20, according to rivals and 247 sports when it comes to the team recruiting rankings. So they are in great shape and they do have the big official visit weekend coming up, which is that is a huge, huge weekend, uh, and it it will no doubt shore up uh, this recruiting class. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the Blazer. Um, let me know what you guys think of this commitment. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help your boy out because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share. You know the drill. I will see you guys next time. DBAP, don't be a pussy willow. In facts or feelings, because your feelings just don't matter. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Go Hawks. Bye-bye.